we're going to use the properties of logs to expand this expression. So step one, we want to rewrite the radical uh, in exponential form. So recall that whatever's underneath is the base. Uh, the whole thing is not raised to no specific power. So the power is going to be one up top for your numerator. Uh, this is square root. So on the bottom, you'll have a two. Once we rewrite that, uh, next we're going to use the power property, which states that if your log has an exponent, you move it out front and it becomes the coefficient of the log. Next, we have the quotient property. Whenever you have a fraction style, a division style, something on top and on bottom, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to leave the coefficient out front for the moment until we expand the log. So that'll be log base 2 of 5 x to the seventh power minus log base 2 of y to the third power. Remember, it's top, take away the bottom. Next, we're going to go ahead and simplify that first log there. Uh, that is going to be the product property. So we'll have log base 2 of 5 plus log base 2 of x to the seventh power. Next, we want to uh, work on these exponents here. We have the power rule again. We're going to move this 7 out front, and it becomes the coefficient of the middle log. Move this 3 out front, it becomes the coefficient of the log in the back. So once we do so, it looks like so. so one last step here is to go ahead and distribute now that 1 half uh, to each uh, log there, the first and the second and third. So once we do so, uh, this is our final answer.